Senator Delfon. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Welcome, Minister, to the Senate, especially this week. We have before us, as you know, we've got, uh, we have before us Bill C-234, which would like to grant exemptions for the heating of farm buildings for uh, a maximum of eight years. We also have the government, uh, see a government announcement if, if, of exem exemptions for heating oil for homes for a period of three years. We also see a sh House of Commons, on the other hand which re has refused to extend exempt exemptions for residential heat heating. Minister, don't you think that sending C-234 to the House of Commons will allow the elected officials to uh, make it a little more orderly and have a more consistent with uh, approach to uh, these exemptions? Minister, of course, it's not up to me, to a House of Commons, uh, to tell you, Senators, how to behave. Uh, the Conservative Party does do that with Conservative Senators, but that is not the case for us. So you have all the freedom to do what you wish with Bill C-234. This is a well-known public fact that my party and myself are opposed to this bill and, did, and opposed it in the House of Commons. When it comes to uh, heating oil, and the, uh, the recent announcement on that, we did not apply the carbon tax because there was no alternative. Uh, what we realized with uh, he he heating oil is that people who are still heating their residences with heating oil do not have the means to make the transition to, therm to heat pumps despite the subsidies that we have in place. They still can't pay the difference in prices. So now we have a prog program to make the, uh, thermal heat pumps free for that chunk of the population. I believe the Prime Minister was quite clear on that. There will be no further exemptions to, the, to carbon pricing. Senator Delphon. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Minister. If the bill were to come uh, to be sent back to the House, will the government commit to working with the opposition parties to find solutions that meet both the needs of uh, farmers more adequately, as well as develop a more consistent policy when it comes to carbon pricing? Minister, of course.